KOF 15. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the King of Fighters 15. I thank each and every one of you for stopping by, and as always, remember that we are destruction. Well, <gasps> all right. I know I'm late for this, but uh, let's go to shot and see what happens. Story mode. Let's go try it out. I think I've played this since, like, a year ago, and that's, uh, pretty sad. Ah! Why not three? Why, why not? Why not? So, uh, apparently many characters have come out since I last played this, but we're only gonna be trying out one! Well, only one is important right now, and that's, uh... Sylvie Paula Paula! I almost feel bad for her, because she's, like, all fired. We got a uh, team South Town and then uh, team uh, this guy. I don't even know. Hey, B4, what's up? Hey there, Robbie. Just give me a second to like put a thumbnail and then uh, we should be good to go. Well, look at this roster. Like, that's one thing that you'll always get whenever you buy a new King of Fighters. It's gonna have a lot of characters for you to try out. So. I am uh, very excited to uh, continue playing this game, and we'll see if we can do some trials as well. But I just hope each and every one of you have an amazing day, and as always, I thank you very much for stopping by. Of course, I can't put that thumbnail, right? It's just too big! Ooh. One that actually like makes her tan? Interesting. Kinda wish there was a costume that like mimics her OG one. And I know you can put on the OG costume, but I just mean like just color-wise, because like she went from having so many like I, I did! I, I don't think the looks comes with uh Team Samurai and Team Orochi. I think it only comes with Team South Town and Team uh Rock Howard. And yes, that's his name. Team that's that's the team name, it's just Team Rock Howard. So, uh, what? Are those characters not locked for you? If not, I might have to check it out later, but, like, I'm okay. Yeah, I, I can see that, uh, being very annoying, Robbie. <laughs> we'll see if maybe we play that, uh, crap game later. But I've been waiting to play this for a long time, and I know people are gonna watch this in the future and they're like, Then why aren't you playing? I'm sorry! I'm trying to do everything as fast as I can! I don't remember low, but yeah, probably well for me. Most likely, which, I mean... Uh, I, I, I haven't seen gameplay of those characters, but... Like... You technically already have them down here, but I'm assuming they're way stronger now that they're, like, powered up, right? But, yeah, no, I, I would, at this point I would only buy Team Samurai, just because, like, I, I don't have them and I want to try... Hamaru! Uh, that person, and forget that person is good. But, uh, damn! I'm liking hard, hold on. I wonder if me being in the top left corner of the screen is good. Dear fighters, the time has come for the king of fighters. I'll be your host in place of Antonov, who bravely led the past competition. Your participation is, of course, expected. Until then, Anastasia? Is that her name? I love that thumbnail. It's it's a good thumbnail. Five years of the previous tournament was the last. The King of Fighters will be held once more. Antonov early entered early retirement following the last event, so the next competition will be hosted by a newly appointed director named Anastasia. Invitations have been set to fighters across the globe. Yuri, shut up. <laughs> it actually, does look a lot like Yuri. So we'll be changing the diapers around here. Good luck with that. Come on, man, quick pushing the dirty work on me. Big City is really something with all these lights. I might get insomnia. Yo, 
I'm gonna be the one to take you down. Don't go lose to any other dumbass. The heck are you talking about? I will say I do like her character design better than that guy. Even though they have the exact same powers. Am I gonna get anything for Sylvie? I hope I hope so. I hope it just doesn't go round one and we just fight. I, I think that's exactly what's happening here. Alright Sylvie, please don't die on me right away. Even though I don't know anything about her right now or how to use her. I think uh quarter circle forward motion with a punch does the electric attack? We'll see, we'll see. Why are those guys like no the best? The color of her Damn! Eyes. Talk smack and she'll rearrange your back. Sure. Uh -huh. hey, don't hurt me, okay? Yeah, we just don't get nothing. All right, we, we, we're just here. Ooh, interesting. She doesn't shock anymore. She's like sent a projectile. Oh, but she still has the, the flying kick. That's good. Ooh, she caught me. What was that? Is that like a blocker ball? It's like her Psycho Crusher. Oh, look at that walk animation. Like... <laughs> Bruh, stop grabbing me like that. I don't like that. Damn it. Oh, the sure you can kick. Ooh. Did you see her taunt? Who sure means or? Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad she still has that. No, she's too cringe, man. Bro, these guys have like command grabs, don't they? Damn it! What's my grab button? GG, GG. I think it's like forward punch, hard punch, or forward hard kick. Sad face, I want to use Sylvie more. Oh well, we're back to uh, Shoto Kevin, I guess. Damn! Can we do this one shot or not? I guess uh, full grab with a punch is the one slap. Squirt Squirt X gives you the meterless auto combo? Okay, I'll try that with the... Goddamn. Look at them using dash on me. Double! Nice. Oh. Where's my Ryokin? <laughs> <laughs> You're in kicking my ass? Yeah, that's all right. Final round. Ready? Go. I did this first with X combo there. There we go. What? Give me. Ah, that's okay. Kick to the what face. a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble. Winner! 
が私の独壇場にしちゃったわねごめん遊ばせ GG Although, like I said, I don't want Sylvie to die right away. So I guess I just gotta get better with her. Reasons why you should、uh, go to training mode before you go to a match. But、uh, you know what? Sometimes you can just figure things out on your own, so. Well, we're just gonna do that. I'm kind of upset that there's no story for Sylvie. She's just there. Her good looks are backed up by her ability to kick tail. You won't know whether to block low or high. King. Where's the introduction for Sylvie? Round one. Ready? Go! Chop, 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 chop. Oh, that's the、uh, overhead. Which is pretty similar to a、uh, Jury's overhead, or in fact, even Sakura's. Ooh, <laughs> I, I love that animation when she misses. It's like, damn it! No, she should have some more so near the end of the game, sadly. Ooh, what was that? Like a counter? Yeah, I already screwed up there. That's what I get for not doing the shuriken with the kick. Oh, yeah, but we get story with Mai and、uh, King, right? Actually, we might only get story with Sylvie if we get the right character that she talks to. I don't know what that right character is. Stand your ground. Ready? Go! KO! Player one wastes no time, even in the score. Why do I have a feeling that this is gonna be more of a Mai and Yuri scream than a <laughs> Sylvie Paul Paul's scream? Ready? Go! Okay, well, at least I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I hate that as well, Robbie. Also, just like Street Fighter 6 before, if you expect me to do like these drive rush combos, I I'm not gonna be able to do that in this video. I don't think so. Maybe if、uh, I'm playing like a, a weird mode, but not in story mode, I wouldn't say. That's super sure you can. Stacy Flash? No, I was gonna say the music's pretty good in this game. It's been a while since I heard it. I'm gonna say, why can't I get the flying scroll? GG, GG. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner! Winner! <laughs> Damn. Well, I mean, uh, for your benefit, I hope、uh, next season is trash, then, so you don't have to、uh, download it. Your next challenger is Team KOF! The Satan of Martial Arts himself, 
His fists are storm chasers dream come true. I, this guy has like one of the funniest taunts in the OG game. It really pisses me off when he does it too. Round one. Ready? Go! Damn, that's not bad, but uh you definitely might need to play a bit more. It looks like Adon? I wouldn't be surprised if Adon was inspired by him. Well, I guess Adon came out first. Adon was in Street Fighter 1, so if anything, maybe Joe might have been inspired by Adon. Ah, oh, sad face. So you're lucky you played that, like literally yesterday. Bop, bop, bop. Ooh, the rump shaker. We gotta see that again. I might die by trying to get this back. One to the neck, and then a run. <laughs> He's like, I've seen you before. I like how her down punch is literally like double fist in here. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. Oh shit, I forgot you can dash in this game. She has a fast dash. Cause she's like running with the electricity. A hundred, I love it. Okay, GG, at least we got back. Let's, let's see a second animation. I remember that one too. The microphone. Next combo. Stand your ground. Ready? Go! Oh, we gotta do the Ryokin motion when I'm in the air? Probably. Holy shit! Yo, Kim is crazy. Yo, this guy's crazy! He's taking out all my teammates. Alright, how do you do the level 3 again? I know everyone has the same motion for level 3, I just forgot it. Oh, uh, Really? Oh no, okay, okay. Okay. It's actually a pretty tough one, not gonna lie. Oh, I screwed that up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely rusty for not playing this game for like over a year, so I'm gonna have to go in training mode after we finish this. I was gonna say story? No, it's just in game. You can do my level 3 mid or 2, by the way. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh yeah, I, I think I pressed the wrong button and then I wasted a bar and it's like, oh shit, I guess it's over. Reverse? Resident Evil? Oh no! <laughs> this game's gone to shit. 
リバースの再現は免れぬしかしアンプスペクターの力を持つもイスラとシュンエの協力があれば封印できるシュンエシュンエまたシュンエあいつは私がぶっ倒すつもりだよで化け物も私がぶっ倒す頼もしいわねだけどリバースは倒せない Square Explorer will give you a combo into level 3, so he'll do that instead of having to remember it. But... Really? I like it pretty easy. But obviously, I need, I need to have like three bars to do that, right? So... I'll, I'll see if I can get one level 3 combo with Sylvie. イスラシュンエこの世界を正常に戻すためあなたたちの力魂があれば Probably has someone if someone has already made like a story for this game like a story video Your next challenger is Team Secret Agent not really a secret agent anymore when you like announce your team. <laughs> Wait. A special agent with a family to fight for. She'll give you the old one two when it's lights out. Vanessa. Alright. <laughs> okay, I might need to see. Okay, okay. What what do you got? Uh Haroken. Backwards. Oh, okay. So that's interesting. What, what, the, what does that even mean? Close by. Okay. Booty, missile. Okay, sure. You can with the kick. Is that really? That's actually pretty easy. And then yeah, that one is the one I need to do better. Uh, Gyu Tun. Okay, so that's the overhead. And then stretch Chun. Let me see what that one is. Oh, that's an overhead. So forward uh, plus square is the the double fist in the air. That's kind of cute. Hey there, Willow and William. How are you doing? It is pretty good. It's, it's just as good as a sure you can kick. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure you can kick the six hits? <laughs> She's going like Jury's pinwheel at that point. That's I, mean. I, I feel like she did the Snee uh, longer in 14, and then they cut it down in this one. Goddamn. Oh, am I fighting Team Kicks? Some Blanca skin? Basically. The one move I haven't done yet, and it's Super Magnet Pop, I believe it's the one where she like throws the enemy over it. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. So quarterback and then forward and then my truck in. There we go, there we go. And then from that, then you do the, like the electric kick to uh, be able to combo afterwards. Let's see if I can do it. I notice her uh, like stars around her body like light up every now and then. Da, 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 da. Oh! Broke my neck! Why did, oh, I guess I did a level 2? Why did that take 3 bars? That was in level 3? Oh well. Nice. Nice. 
That was a good kick. These kicks like do crumple attacks. God damn. Kaoken! You blocked the show up? Guile? Double! The goddess of victory, smiles you know, like, I, I don't know how long this uh, announcer has been with KOF, but trust, it, it is pretty hype. I'm glad they uh, brought him back from 14. Ooh, that's right. Select order. Oh, I think actually we might get story for the first time. I believe in the trailer I saw Sylvie talking to Angel, so... I hope we finally get story now. Or not. Ooh! Back in Ness, you'd freeze up every time our eyes met. I hardly even recognize you now. No, it's just me and my IBs anymore. Maya and Kukri and the Prez and all those other guys have given me courage and strength. I won't lose to you! Oh yeah, I really can't wait to see you cry again, heart face. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Da -da -da -da. Cha -pa -pa -pa. Oh, that's a new DLC character, no? That's not good. Yeah, that's, that's very bad. That's very bad. That's very bad. What was that noisy nigga? He did a good attack, that's all I can say. Fuck! Oh, it's only a one-hitter? I thought that was a double KO for a second. I wanna see if uh, she talks to Kukri, especially since he ju she just mentioned Kukri. I finally got you, Kukri! I can't believe you showed up without telling me and Maya and you're breaking all kinds of friendship laws right now. <laughs> yeah, cause uh, she was on the team with Kukri last game. Damn it. Why are you here? Listen, Shrimp, I'm not interested in being playmates with you. Not a friend? Go back to that sheep's gate and leave me alone, cause you're breaking all kinds of annoyance laws right now. Annoyance laws. I need to have that in my vocabulary. You're breaking annoyance laws. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot, he's a fan, man. He's technically the main villain of SNK Heroes, because he's a creep. Oh, 100%. GG. I, I didn't have much help to be able to fight you. <laughs> oh. it, yeah, no, no. It, funny enough, and I need to actually play that game with Sylvie, you actually get the most story with Sylvie if you play that game. Like, every other character is like, hey, we're just here having fun. 
But apparently she has the most messed up story in that game. Like, when you finish the game, you actually realize that she's been, like, experimented on, and that's why she is the way she is. Like, everyone else has a cutesy story, Sylvie's the only one that's, like, serious and actually sad, so... Maybe we see if we, uh, use her in that game and see her story, because, yeah, I heard it's pretty messed up. It made me actually feel bad for Sylvie after that. Okay, what button is, uh... Oh, wait. Now, yeah, what button is punch and kick at the same time? R1? I'm gonna go with R1. And if it doesn't work, then, uh, I guess I screwed up. But that's heavy punch and heavy kick, though. Oh, I, I could probably just do triangle and circle at the same time. Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Ore, ore, ore. The only thing I hate about that is we don't get that afterwards. Hey, I wouldn't mind doing that for you, bro. Does this game cost money? Sadly. Although, there might be a sale sometime soon. It, it, if this game is going to go on, like, honestly, if any fighting game is going to go on sale, it's probably going to be around when Street Fighter 6 is coming out. Now, that might sound weird and dumb, but trust, it's going to be because they're like, you know, we don't want anyone to play Street Fighter 6, so we would rather put this game on sale so you guys can play this game over the new Street Fighter 6. That's how companies usually work. Select order. Sadly, there's no fighting games I don't own yet. Well, maybe I'll see if we get Guilty Gear Strive, I guess. I, I don't have that one Oh yeah, but it, there is a demo you can try out, and if uh, you enjoy it, you can uh, get it. If not, then... Maybe just wait a couple days and see if uh, Street Fighter 6... Uh... Whoa! Shine again! This is the free Whoa! Oh, the fact that like the main theme song of King of Fighters 14 is the background music for this stage, it, it's too uh, nostalgic to me. Shoot, I can't believe that game's already like... At least five years old? That came out in what, 2017? Oh, sure, you can really. I feel like, other than maybe a couple, like, other kids in this game, she, Sylvie might be the youngest. If not, she uh, definitely is the most strange compared to every other female in this game. She's like, yo, I just, I just want to show off my creepy stuff. Eyeballs. Haha! <laughs> the push. Oh, Spider-Man over here? She was such a strong DLC character in 14. That's the one I like more than the one slammer. Oh no! The green shit! Ooh. Damn, I didn't want to say 16 because like I was gonna be like, damn, that makes me feel old. But I guess it came out in the same year that Street Fighter 5 did, which at least back in that, in those days, it was like, oh my gosh, look at all the fighting games we're getting. It was just mostly two. Granted, I can't remember what other games came out that year. God, God damn, that was a cool bet. But uh, it, it it is a big change from like now when we're getting like what a minimum of four fighting games. I can't believe I can build enough meter with Sylvie to, uh, wait, what? Oh, I guess it's get the control. Uh, enough meter to do her level 3. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. 
Maybe, maybe. I feel bad for Sylvie. Uh, only in the trailer. And all I can say is it's definitely better than her, uh, ooh, than her uh, level 3 in King of Fighters 14. You could just do that? Isn't that your level 3? Just you know, be no problem. Smiles upon the winner. Winner. And there you have it. At this very moment, the winners of the King of Fighters have been crowned. Oh, hell, this power keeps coming. I won't stop. I can't make it stop. This power. Room. Room. I don't even think I can do the level 3 to the final boss. Also, I should have probably like checked and asked you this in the beginning, but just let me know if you ever hear any echoes on the stream, alright? That way I need to, uh, that way I can fix some of the volume settings so you don't hear anything. <laughs> Why do I feel like this character might be like the final DLC character we get? Just because technically Verse is a character you can use in 14, but I don't know if you can use Reverse in this game yet. I do remember liking the stage of this song. Uh, <laughs> the song of this stage, though, if it's the crystal one. Ominous Arena. No, I guess it's level uh, stage part two. Round one. Ready? Fighting the college. I have that too. And <laughs> we both did flying spells to each other. No, you are not life stealing from me. That was dumb, I like how none of the hitbox connected there. Uh, that's right. Oh, she can charge her Hadouken like a uh, Sakura? <laughs> I didn't want to make that joke, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what a stellar like. fight! These two know how to rumble! Winner! I should have just had Sylvie in the beginning.
Yeah. yeah. Still, I should have had Sylvia in the beginning. Now, this boss is too cheap. I don't think uh, they will be a uh, character you can use. But that other boss we use, I, I could actually see that being a character. Oh, I forgot about the bunny ears. The goddess of truth, Otoma Raga, stands in the way. Otoma Raga. <laughs> I like how that only stopped because the fan actually hit her. An exciting bout from round one. I don't say anything. Can I even grab you? Or are you airborne? Grab you. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I can grab you. Okay, okay. Is there a round two? I don't know if there's a round two, so I kind of like want to die and like use filthy. Is this fight already over? I can't believe that's the first time that we got that. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. And now she's gonna resurrect herself like Gil. Whatever. That is so cool! Bad, bad. That was so cool! She like zips around and she's like, dead. Or whatever she says and then she's just a giant energy beam at you. <laughs> Rump shaker. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Top five super in this game for me, honestly. Heck, I I I, I even enjoyed her uh, super in uh, 14, where like it, it it was technically a command grab as well. Like you had to be beside the person, and then everything would go dark, and then she would like zap you once, and then you would like lose so much health. But uh, she definitely upgraded here. She's like doing some like strider shit, and then like I'm just gonna finish you off with the Shinko Hadoken. No, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, oh, I didn't even read it, damn it. Uh, maybe. Uh, I, I should have checked. Alright, hey, thanks for sending, staying tuned in. It re reappeared right before our eyes like a mirage. Time was only a few minutes have passed, yet the mysterious life form that emerged directly prior to the strange anomaly is nowhere to be seen. Come have seen yet another paranormal phenomenon following the previous tournament, and once again, this is Clemens Bellamy from AMBC bringing the action live to you. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. Capcom Street Fighter 6 stole their, uh. Well, not even like. 
they, they definitely were inspired by this uh, announcer over here. Team Edit. I'm not even going to try to say his name. Several hours after the disappearance of Reverse and Otama Raga, the King of Fighters tournament came to an end. Gravity anomalies observed all over the world, as if coincidentally with the conclusion of these unusual events. I gotta read faster. All traces vanished within the next 48 hours. The lore spoke of tales spun by hermits in the most secluded corners of Africa. Ravers appears at the end of the world to collect souls for a greater god. Their powerful emotions and souls are converted to pure energy to open a gate into another world. Otama Raga uses that gate to, to appear in our world to destroy all and usher in an age of restoration. As for what caused Reverse Awakening and Otama Raga's appearance, dun dun dun. Dolores offered her own opinions during our investigation into the matter. A multiverse, worlds diverge on the cross roads of. Reverse phenomenon caused by time to play rank. Hey, I don't mind. The theory was too much for me to swallow, but it lines up perfectly with the uh, abnormalities over the past few years. Because the threat of Otama Raga truly passed. How can we be certain that another such entity won't appear in this world? All that is certain is that disaster was averted this time around. We must make every preparation going forward so the next time such a menace appears, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to handle it. Cool. Thus ends my report. I, I, I'm hoping Sylvie gets like an animation at the end of this. I feel very bad for her. She hardly gets anything. I want to say these end credits are new, just because these characters weren't there when I first played this game, right? It'd be kind of weird to have, like, Hamaru voice actor when, like, he wasn't even in the game, so... I want to say these are new credits. So if you added all the DLC characters, I better see Sylvie in here. Yo, King of Dinosaurs, one of my faves. Dinner time! Get out of here, Tina. Omega Rugal. No, nothing for Sylvie. Nice, makes sense. Well, the sad song now. I, I guess they're gonna add uh, the voice actors and actresses for the final DLC characters once all of them are out. <laughs> Such a sad story. <laughs> this reminded me of like the re uh, Resident Evil re uh, remakes when you finish the game and then you get some random like lyrical track. Oh, Sylvie so Paula Paula's there. Nice. Person named Mio did it. It's different, and I like different. But you could take the song and like put it in any like love story, and it would fit. <laughs> <laughs> you show the song to anyone, they'd be like, yeah, this isn't from a fighting game.
just a random picture of uh, ice, snow, and uh, a moose. <laughs> because you're like, yeah. I will say, like, when you compare this game to like Street Fighter VI, it's hard to justify buying this game at full price. Just because uh, this is one of those games that you just get it to play ranked online. While there is a story mode, you can clearly see how short it is, and unless you get lucky with the person you fight, you might not get any like character cutscenes at all. We were lucky we got two there. And yeah, like if we didn't get those, if we didn't get Angel or Cookery uh, while we were fighting Sylvie, we would have gotten nothing. So. There is something to be said about uh, at least Street Fighter VI. The character you use is going to have a cool story in arcade mode with the endings. I don't know if they're going to have an intro cutscene. I hope they do. If not, then I guess it is similar to this game. But... With the FF6, they, they are trying to appeal to every demographic, right? The hardcore, the casual, the people that just want to like fight bots, the people that just want a story. This game really only caters to the hardcore uh, fighting game audience. If you were casual and you bought this game, you, you might be disappointed with the lack of story or single player content, to be honest. Because I believe, uh, like, we'll check out the main menu, but like, you can only like play single player, training mode, and then online, and that's it. And then everything else, yeah, that's it. There's a lot of other like options, but I, I don't know what they do, so we'll we'll take a look. Not shitting on the game, I love it, but it's uh it's. It's definitely a hard sell compared to like something like SF6. Or hell, even Mortal Kombat, but... When this game came out last year, I want to say there weren't that many other fighting games to compete with. Like, let's see, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, Multiverses, and I guess you could say Guilty Gear Strive, as well as um, DNF Duel. And funny enough, out of all those games, I think DNF Duel has the most story. Maybe Guilty Gear Strive, but I heard uh, the story is also just looking at cutscenes and not like actually interacting, so I don't know. So far, like the, the two, the three, if we're going to say, the three best fighting games that have like a story at this point in time might actually be uh, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and Street Fighter only because of Street Fighter 6 right now. Granted, not many people buy fighting games for the story, though. Oh yeah, isn't this Unreal Engine 5? Hello, my friends! Whoa, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Unreal 4? Okay, okay. So the next one's gonna be Unreal 5. Nice. Heck, it's funny that this and 14 are on Unreal 4, but there's such a big difference in visual quality when you compared them to each other. It just shows uh, how much uh, SNK learned from that engine and they're like, yo, we're gonna refine this to make it look amazing. It still looks amazing to me. If anything, the reason why like it it looks just as good as Street Fighter, Fighter even though that's going for more realistic art style, this one has a pretty unique art style that makes it pop. And we get nothing. We get nothing. You buy Sylvie, you get nothing. No cute, like, cartoon picture story ending. That sucks. I'm, I'm kind of cheesed, not gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm check a movie and see if maybe I missed out on one. Clear story mode with Sylvie and Cookery? Ooh, so maybe, maybe there is a story. I just actually have to use Cookery on my team. All right, I guess we're gonna play a uh, story mode again, but uh, obviously not until we pull, do some uh, training mode. Then again, it does say, oh no, it just says silver and cookery. Okay, I actually don't mind doing that, just cause uh, the other one seemed to tell you two, and then one in like question marks, which does suck. Heck, does that mean I don't even have like Yuri's ending? I actually don't know. I, I I hope so, but it could just be it could be like them being cheeky and being like, Oh, you gotta find out who you actually need to like be with and it's like bro, don't don't even 
Oh, tell me we didn't get the story for Team Superheroine because I swapped out a, a Athena for someone else. I, I think that's why we don't have that ending. Not sad face. Oh no, uh, I, I, I know exactly why we don't have uh, the ending for Team Superheroine's PAL version. And I'm just going to leave it at that, which I don't mind re uh, regaining all the story endings and stuff like that again. Round one. Your system voice? Sobu Adi! I do not believe that. <laughs> I do not believe that at all. But uh, yeah, let me see. So you get a uh, versus story and training, and then all oh, this is online shit. And then you got tutorial, DJ station, missions? Which I guess that's a uh, tutorial. DJ Station. Looking for a trip down memory lane? SNK DJ Station delivers all the best tunes straight from Isaka. Which one was the. Uh, uh... Oh, Tashi Buike. Alright, let me see. I believe. No, no, Inheritance was a different one. Venator Belair is uh, the theme for Team Nest, which was uh, Cookery, uh, Sylvie Paul Paula, and the third person I can't remember right now. And funny enough, uh, this theme is actually remixed, and it's Sylvie Paula Paula's theme in uh, SNK Heroin, so. I mean, you're using a new save data as the. I, I know, I know, so that's why I said, like. The stuff we unlocked on the other version isn't here, but I, like I said, I can re-unlock it again. Alright, I guess let's uh, try some trial missions with Sylvie and see if we can learn anything from her. Oh, even her alternate has styles? That's sick. Only five? I say that, but I'm not. I'm gonna get Ready, uh, my ass kicked. Oh, is that Sylvie's theme? <laughs> so let's see, we got it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's such a cute back walking animation. She reminds me of like Deadpool with her walks. <laughs> I think no, that is not Ant. Well, if that is Antonov's theme, it does not fit him. Damn, now I, now I actually want to check. Let me click on Antonov and see what happens. Ready? Go! Yeah, yeah, th this is Antonov's theme. Trust, I, I know Sylvie. Her, her theme has to be a little bit crazy. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I don't know. How do you change uh, the opponent to be Antonov? Ready? Go! I don't think you can. Yeah, no, this sounds like a Sylvie Paul Paul theme. Alright, so I just want to see a couple moves with her. Not punch! She looks like Princess Peach with those colors, right? 
bro. That, like, dash animation. I love it, but it's so fast. Like, I, the thing I think I guess I like about Sobe is she uses electricity to her advantage. Like, I kind of wish Blanca would, like, I don't know, make, like, an electric ball and, like, throw it at someone. Blanca kind of just, like, it emanates electricity from him, his body, right? And Sylvie does the same, but, like, she can actually make it into a projectile, which I love. Heck, even her, even this attack here, she's kicking you with her regular kicks, but she's using her powers to give her that boost to get to you. It, it's just an interesting concept. If anything, that's something I gotta say about a SNK uh, character. They take powers that I are like, oh, I already seen that what you can do with uh, that concept, and they just do something crazy with it. I know, but what I mean, like, it took literally, like, like what? 10 plus games of Blanca to make him finally be able to throw a projectile? Like, come on, guys. I, that's literally, like, probably the first thing people said when they used Blanca back in the day. They're like, why can't he throw something? Also, is this a two-hitter if I, like, if I'm beside them? No. If I'm right beside them, it just shocks them. Even with heavy, but if you EX it... I mean, he is the projectile, you're not wrong, but... At that point, why can't it be an electric ball, right? And I, I guess I'm talking about, like, old Blanca. I'm not talking about Street Fighter 6 Blanca, because... SS 6 Blanca, like, basically eliminates all the, um... Not problems, but just the things that I'm like, why can't you do this? It would, it would make you look cool. And then they actually gave him that in 6 to make him look cool. So, so if you enhance this attack, it's a one-hitter. But if you're right beside them, it's a two-hitter. Okay. Rump Shaker! What's this one, though? Okay, so close, you do an elbow. And then far, you do a punch. Close, you do, like, an uppercut. And far, you do... Up. And, like, up. Close is a shin kick. And then far is a kick to the knee. I like that enemy. Oh wait, what? That bounces? That does not bounce. I guess I gotta do something to make the character bounce like that. I like that. She's like she's just giving you a side kick. And, uh, okay, you know what? Maybe this could be a factor as to why I like Sylvie Paula Paula. She literally has Sakura's kick. Which, if you know fighting games, if your character has this kick, your, your character's pretty strong already. That's all I can say. I will say it has less reach than uh, Sakura, but trust the... Uh... Oh wait, does she actually get closer with the kicks? Bro, she actually gets closer with the kicks! That's cute! You can kind of do like a little dance with her, you just keep on mashing X. <laughs> That's cute. Any other attacks to get you closer? I guess this one does. Sadly not this one though. That... That OTGs? No shit. I, as soon as I can, see, I see a character has an OTG. Like a light bulb, that, like pops in my head. Is like we can start doing crazy shit right away. For example, and I suck at this game, so if I can do this on the first try, I know you guys can do crazy stuff. So let's see. Uh, OTG says, "Yeah, you see, you see, look at that shit. Oh my god, that's twenty-five percent damage. All I did is I enhanced the the jumping kick." And then sure you can kick. Look at that. Heck, you could probably do something like uh, OTG into level three. I don't know what I wanted to do. Missed that. Two hits. That only does one hit though. I wonder if it stuns them or something?
So that's what I was doing. I, I was accidentally enhancing my super. I, I don't know the actual terminology, but if you do the level 1 version of this super, it, it's the exact same one that I remember from uh, the last game, but you can enhance it and make it stronger like this. And it would be too uh, far. So I guess this one does the multiple hits, right? Okay, no, so level 1 is uh, just a one, one slam. And then level 2 is multiple slam. Two, two. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the one I remember. I really want to know what she says there. I need to see what's her grab though. That's yeah, kind of tricky, but uh, I can do that. Not that one. There we go. Yeah. Her command grab is pretty tough on me. I'm not gonna lie, especially since I accidentally do the uh, just a normal grab instead. <sighs> booty booty. <laughs> Oh, that's literally a psycho crush. Alright, let's uh, actually do these combos, right? I can probably try training some more later. So that heavy punch. Heavy punch. Heavy punch forward light kick? Wait, you can cancel overhead into cream pop? So fine, forge. You can- what? Really? Bro, you can combo after overheads in this game? <laughs> This is a precursor to Street Fighter 6 right now. I want to see if you can EX the cream pop. Yeah. Let's see, so... Punch... Punch, forward punch? Ooh, you can actually combo that into each other. You can combo this into, into the flying kick. Oh, 
I wonder if she has any uh, uh, other enemies since you missed the attack. <laughs> okay, almost full screen, almost full screen. Alright, let's see if we can get this combo down. So punch, heavy punch, black and that, pull that, and then sh Okay, 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 okay. I got, I got this. I got this. Do, 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 do. Look at us. Already practicing for Street Fighter Five combos, right? Too fast. Too fast. I guess you gotta... Wait, can you do it in the air? No. So what, you gotta land with him and then press it right at the right millisecond? I might actually need to see the demo, because I need to see when exactly she does the ultra. Whether it's in the middle of the air, or literally when she lands. I don't- oh, okay, 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 okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Damn, so even the fucking Ultra 1 is an OTG as well. Alright, alright. Come on, get better destruction! Woo! Wow, okay. For some reason, I thought uh, the Ultra ended with the uh, slamming uh, Ultra, so I'm like, how is that gonna connect? But no, it's the electricity one. That's actually pretty sick. Although I feel like I need to do that three times in a row before I can uh, go to the next one. So let's see. I'm definitely messing up the last two. There we go, there we go, okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, I feel good enough. Let's go to the next one now. 
The last three are definitely gonna give me problems. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Alright, uh... What? Punch, forward punch, EX, backwards, EX, forward, then backwards punch. Oh my god. Sylvie, please! Am I gonna be able to shock him in OTG with that ball? Let's see. Okay, I need to see this, uh, play. It, it, it looks like a cool fucking combo. Yeah, it was the last two that I was wondering, because I'm like, okay, if you want me to, like, sure you can kick, how do you want me to do an ultra right after that? And it seems like you connect the kick, and after the first hit, after the first hit, you have to make sure you connect with the ultra afterwards. Hey, that's gonna be hard as shit. Oi, alright. <laughs> Damn. Have you finished five combos for one of uh, your characters in this game or no before? There's a trophy for doing a bunch of trials, right? But because there's DLC characters, you can kind of cheese that trophy now, so... I'm gonna see if I can get the Platinum for this soon. It has to be, like, I know it's me, I just wonder if you gotta go super fast or something, and it's most likely, it's most likely the answer, it's just, I'm bad at this. Yeah! <laughs> 
Come on, this is a baby combo, you got this? Bro, don't even. The funny thing is, like... Well, we're on combo, what, three? Yeah, well, we got two more after this. <sighs> I'll say, it, one big issue is I haven't played this in a long time, so these uh, combos and motions are definitely getting to me. What? Wait, okay, no, no, we, we gotta see that again. Sylvie has, like, an idle animation? Alright, that's gonna calm me down. <laughs> She's just dancing. So cute! So kawaii! Not the biggest reason why everyone hates her. What's a kawaii character doing in a manly game like King of Fighters where we got dinosaur people? Alright, we got this, we got this. We're, we got the dance power up now. <laughs> Damn it, Leon, that's terrible! Uh, hope uh, you can get that fixed. By fix, I mean, like, put a tissue until it stops bleeding, right? But I just hope you have a good night's rest after you, uh... ...heal yourself, right? She does three spins for you? Maybe she has a different auto animation if uh, you have her in her default costume. If anything, maybe that, that's that's gonna give us uh, the boost that we need. We're gonna go back and give her the default costume. Also, I'm doing good at the Hide and Seek Master in FNAF SP. Nice! If you need any tips, uh, ask. But also, remember, you can just use uh, Freddy to just get that uh, achievement slash challenge trophy uh, done faster. But yeah, before, if you want to do the challenges, you gotta go to Mission at the bottom and Trial. It's, it's weird how they, like, did the combo challenges in this game, but uh, yeah. Ready? Oh yeah, I will say, yeah, if you're at the end of the part, it's kind of hard to do that uh, part without Freddy, because like, you can't kill them. I don't know, like, the, the old vibe, like you said before, makes it look like Princess Peach, but this new one makes it look like a Darkstalker, funny enough. No, it's the same enemy. Alright. I love how I, I can't connect that move anymore. What? Like, that was weird how she... What? That she... I don't think that was supposed to happen. It's weird how she did that attack going to the right when Antonov went to the left. You saw that too, right? Okay, okay. I, I, I don't want to like... I know I'm bad at this game, but I also hope people saw that too. I don't know why I tracked to the right over there. Oh, maybe I should just take to the left. And I got it. And I got it too. And I got it. The worst part is, I, I have to like, separate these combos into like, different parts. And then eventually I get to combine it all at the end. I can't just like, in one go. I'm not, I'm not a Evo player. I'm done mostly stuff. First try and second try? Nice. Yo, I know you'll definitely get that uh, achievement done this week. Especially if you, like... You take breaks every now and then. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then suck, and then suck, and then... Okay. Funny thing is, the last three don't even look that bad anymore. Nice combo! Which tweet? Oh, I hope it's not the tweet out of me today, because that just means... <sighs> yeah, I'm just not even going to bother. If you know, you know. It, it's those people that were looking at that tweet. If, any, I, if anything, they should be giving me 640 points. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, by the way, can I, uh, I... Hey, Leona, please. Please. It means a lot when any one of you stop by. But remember, school is important for your future. So, don't feel bad if you're remiss, though. Plus, uh, unless I, like, stated on my Discord or community post, I'm most likely gonna be playing a random game. So you you won't be missing out anything FNAF related, alright? I'll, tr I'll try to do that more often. I'll, I'll like, post in the community when I'm... Like, what game I'm gonna play, so if people, like, don't wanna watch, they know, and... If people don't wanna watch, then they know, right? And then I could just, like, delete those posts afterwards. Alright. We almost had it there. But nice! I hope you can get a good night's rest now that that uh, is taken care of. I feel you are bleeding, Gregory. <laughs> oh nice! Cool. You know I already deleted uh, the demo, sadly. I needed to make some space, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna play this. Because the main game's coming out soon, so... Also, very sorry for anyone watching in the background. If you're, like, Evo, FTC, or someone that actually knows how to play this game, and we're like, wow, how long is it gonna take for this idiot to get this combo done? Probably all night, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. Because... We don't quit! We just take weeks to get shit done. Hey, at least I'm not saying, oh, this is hard, this is bullshit. I mean, it is hard, it might be BS, but that's fighting game, so. Play by the rules, right? My Fortnite is updated right now, so I'll let you know how many gigs Street Fighter 6 is after this is done downloading. Let me check my Fortnite's not downloading as well. No, it's not. Okay. It's so hard to get that catch with the back, uh... Hey, what are these moves called? Let me see. Thunderous drip, discharging, super magnetic pop, booty booty, magnetic, magnet missile, Katen coil. Okay. It is. I don't want to cheat, but I actually might have to switch my moves to my commands to something more uh, akin to Street Fighter, and maybe that actually might be able to get me to uh, start uh, 
getting these combos right, so let me see. This should be our one, and this should be our two. And... yeah! Cool. Oh, my taunt is gonna be... Light Punch Heavy Kick? Because I'm using Street Fighter controls instead of KO King of Fighters controls now. <laughs> I wish I knew what she was saying there though. Now I just gotta remember the first combo that I've been doing for the past 10 minutes with these new controls. Nice. It's beautiful. I suck at this game. Woo, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's go. How you doing? You're not the only one for uh for what? Is that a string moves together? Oh, please. It's up we were all. Come on, don't even. Don't even. Battle Hub is 30 gigs, World Tour is 18 gigs, Fighting Ground is 4 gigs, so like 50 gig game? Not bad. PS5 version? Ooh, no, that's actually pretty sick. Especially considering King of Fighters for me is like 70 gigs. Let me. It, it's going blue screen just because I'm checking. Uh, how many gigs this game is? 85.17. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad... I'm glad we're not hitting the 80s for Street Fighter 6. Maybe, like, by the end of its life cycle in, like, five to six years from now, I might push 100 because of all the stages and DLCs they're adding. But at least for now, it's not as big as this. And honestly, if someone's gonna be like, oh, why is this game bigger than King of, uh, than Street Fighter? I, I don't know. I want to say because of the characters, but uh, it's probably something to do with something else. I, I can't tell you why. Uh, this game has more characters than six, so that's cool. If you care about that shit, I don't know. All right, let's, let's actually get this done. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I really don't want this to take the whole entire night, but considering we're on three out of five, it might. <laughs> For a second I thought I had it because I saw her do the fucking hit here. No, I did do it! But I did it with a light instead of a heavy. Fuck! I got it right, but I pressed a light kick instead of a heavy. That actually would have been it. But notice I'm starting to be able to get these strings better now that I switched it to Street Fighter 4 controls. <laughs> Right? Like, and this might not even be Sprite, but the only game that comes to my mind that's like... Yeah, it's not Sprite at all. I guess the only, like, hand-drawn animated fighting game that might be out nowadays... Is a game that came out in, like, what, 2011? Skullgirls? I'm actually surprised that game's still getting updated to this day, but, uh, yeah. 
Also, I need to do a Skullgirl stream one day. I, I really... I, I bought that game a long time ago, I played it for like a couple, couple minutes, I'm like, this is sick, and then I never played it, like, sadly. <laughs> but yeah, no, we do need more sprite, ac like, actual sprite-based fighting games, but... The sad thing is, in today's generation, you bring out a sprite-based fighting game, people are gonna be like, look at the graphics, it looks like shit! That's, how, that's just how it is nowadays. If it doesn't look like Unreal Engine 69, people don't care. Am I gonna get this combo right? I don't know, maybe. It's so hard to get that heavy kick. If it was a light, I would be able to do it. Yes, and that's why they don't want to bring out Guilty Gear Strive, DNF Duel, or Dragon Ball Fighters for that instance. While they do look 2D, they there are they are actually like 3D cell shaded models. So. Yeah, but sadly, like especially with fighting games, the the amount of money you would put into them, like the companies that put into them, wouldn't get as much of a return. It's it's pretty sad. I was watching. Oh, that's terrible, Liana. Like I said, I just hope you feel you get better. I don't know if you need to like have like a tissue on your nose or something. <laughs> Gotta go faster! Not even close to what I had to do there. Okay, okay. I thought it was like stuffy. Holy shit, finally! I'm very sorry about that, guys. It, it did take a while there. Now do it three times in a row! Fuck you. You cursed! It's only a rated T game. Yeah, I will say this, uh... I do swear more on anything that's not an affiliated, so... Sorry about that, but also a rated T game, so... Maybe I should just go to the next one since I already did this one.
Plus, uh, it, this while well, cool looking, I I can't really see myself doing this online or get online. Nice combo. Now let's just go to the next one. Oh, you suck. Okay, shut up. I don't know why my brain wants to do a Shoryuken after I get the connection with the with the punches. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I did it again. I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh, please be smaller. Ready? Technically smaller ones are harder ones, I'm not gonna lie. Hey <laughs> shit. Alright, let's see. Oh, you wanted to do the the command grab, the one I was having problems with. Question, is it light punch that grabs or heavy punch? Heavy punch, okay, so I'm gonna do light punch to do the command grab. Okay, finally got the X done on that one. Okay, so... You know what, let me actually see how it plays. <laughs> what type of jungle bullshit is that? Oh my god! Okay, let's see if we got this. Okay, so after that it's, uh... Three, then four... Then... Then heavy punch, heavy kick. Oh, heavy punch and heavy kick is a wall bang. Okay, good to know that. Oh, well, that's a level 2. Grabs are so weird for me. Ah, oh, you suck. Aww, that's cute. Your cat's just t as tired as you are. to do the yes attack. So as soon as the uh, she the mi okay okay.
So as soon as she says eat pet, that's when you can actually get the connection. gonna see a lot of uh, errors when I do the Street Fighter 6 trial. Although they should be easier than this shit. I say that knowing I gotta do the green chip combos. Is go for broke. Has it always been King of Fighters? I feel like that it that's been said in another fighting game as well. I'm I'm getting like I don't know. I think it might be NBC vibes. I forgot World Tour was in Street Fighter 3, or Alpha 3. That's always when you least expect the death when you get it. Much, and even if I did, I was gonna match the level one anyway, so I fucked that up. Okay, 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 I think I got this. You gotta be super fast for this combo. Have to crack open the Pepsi. I was like, nah, no, but he's already on the ground. 
Oh, you can, yeah, I guess that's a uh, mix, right? Yeah, that's a whip. thing is, I'm a masher, and that's honestly my biggest problem. I just gotta be calm, I gotta focus, and that's how I'm gonna get this combo. I keep on mashing too much, and that's what screws up all these combos. It's probably gonna be the longest one and it involves level 3, right? Yeah. What is that? Max mode? Yeah, max mode. Have you fun? Fun. Overhead. Light. Wait, is that a level 1 into a level 1 into a level 3? How can you even do that? Wait, that's a level 1 into a level 2 into a, into a level 3. This is probably going to be the sickest freaking combo I've ever seen, not gonna lie. The fact that you, Sylvie can go into a level 1, into a level 2, into a level 3, this actually might be crazy. To the point where I actually don't want to see the demo, I, I want to perform this myself and see it uh, with my own eyes. Oh my gosh. You see, this, this is why, even though this can be hard and I might like be stuck on one challenge for like half an hour, two hours, it's rewarding in the end, because then it's, it's like, you did it. Now, granted, you might not be able to do any of these combos online or ever, because you might forget them, but for that one moment, it was cool. Alright, let's get this to start. This actually might be an easy combo. <laughs> this actually might be the easiest combo. I say that, but I know I'm gonna, like, screw it up. And I got the first three down, and then it's just three ultras afterwards. Smash too much. Ready? 
That does not do 90 damage. Oh, it does 99 damage. Fuck me. Holy shit, that was sick. That was sick, bro. I have, granted, I haven't done everyone else's trials, but I've never seen someone been able to go to a level one, to a level two, and to a level three. I, I, honestly, maybe all characters can do that, but like, that was actually pretty sick. I don't even remember doing that in like Yuri's or uh, my combo trial. But that's actually pretty sick. GG's, so. We actually did all of, uh, Sylvie Paul Paul's, uh, combo trials. Sadly, in this game, there's only five. Granted, I guess I've been accustomed to ten from Street Fighter, but... Yeah, I guess that's all of her stuff, so. We go back into story mode and go with Cookery? Yeah, to get Sylvie's ending, we need to clear story mode with Sylvie and Cookery. Now, does that mean, like... We gotta beat the game with Sylvie and Cookery on our team, or we gotta beat the game with like Sylvie and like Sylvie has to be the one winning, and then Cookery has to be the one winning. I actually don't know. So I'm just gonna put them both on my team and uh, hope for the best. Decided to look up what other recent notable 2D sprite games released releases had come out so far this decade. What a mouthful, by the way. And just from a quick Google search, there were only two I could find. Bruh. What what was it? Was it a way forward game? I feel like they're the only ones doing like sprite based animations nowadays. And even then, they're kind of like evolving from sprite games now and actually doing um, just a new art style. Then Fighting Hurts and the newest Melty Blood game? <laughs> the My Little Pony fighting game? I I've always kind of been interested in at least trying it out just to see how it would play, but damn, that's uh, kind of funny. Select members. Damn, we're, we've been playing for this for two hours? I feel like we've only been playing this for 40 minutes, I swear. Time to put a character I haven't used in years? Yes. We're gonna give him the merchant color. And because we haven't used them in a while, it's a king! King of Dinosaur! Purple guy! Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, we don't need to watch this anymore. Select order. Oh, are, you, are you gonna be able to do close, close now that you know Let's how to use your character now? Drama not unfolds. Although I will try to actually kill two people with Sylvie this time. We'll, we'll see how that works. He packs more than a punch. He packs heat. He's the true Cobalt Blue human weapon. Maxima. Why can't I get a cool He's intro like that for Sylvie? <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go! Ooh. You can like triple kick and then combo into a light uh sure you can? Well, let me actually see the actual name for that attack. Kate's and Coil. Which one's Booty Booty? Yes. 
Oh, that one's booty booty? That's such a good move, though. And player one clinches the first round. She shows out here having fun. Everyone's all serious, going for like the kill and shit. And she's like, yeah, I'm just here to make sure. God damn. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no! Not looking good for player two. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> Missile right away. Doing much better with Sylvie this time around, that's for sure. I just don't like starting the stream by going into fame mode. I'm sure you can call me a, a fighting game player sweat, but I'm not that sweaty to go training mode right away. If you want to know how to win, this is the person to ask. That way people can see how a new plays when they don't know nothing about a character, and then the difference when I go into a training mode for a while. I guess the difference is now I can actually, like, get her to win instead of her dying in round one. Select oh shit, what did she say? God damn, I need to start reading everything that she, uh, she'll be saying. Yo, Samurai Showdown? Let's go. Your next challenger There's one thing I like about certain Samurai. fighting games. Even if you don't have the DLC characters, you still fight them, and I like that. I hate fighting games where, like, oh, you you don't want, you want to fight this character? Well, you gotta buy him. It's like, what if I don't want to use him? Well, too the bad for you. The way of the samurai is to know death. <laughs> the legend himself, Haomaru. Where's the rollback for Samurai Showdown? I've been waiting for it for, like, since they announced it. Round one. Ready? Uh, I'm just gonna blame Street Fighter Cross Tekken right now, just cause, just cause that's the only game I can think of right now. I remember like, if you want to fight like Sakura and Blanca, you gotta bite them. You gotta buy them. Otherwise, you will never see them in your uh, game. So yes, it would be a Capcom game I'm referencing, but there's probably some others that I can't think of. Right now. Mortal Kombat would probably be one. You won't go, you won't fight Predator or anything unless uh, you buy them, but. They could be in the arcade tower, so I'm not gonna say MKX right now. <laughs> to me, like, even if you're never gonna buy uh, a certain character, you should always still fight them in arcade mode. Oh my god, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh shit, that means I'm fighting Bird Lady next, right? Oh no. Oh god. Not Nakaruru. Reach for the top! Bane of my nightmare. Wow, you're super fast. Stop your birds. Also, why does Sylvie have the sound effect of like <laughs> when the lights are buzzing in FNAF? takes another round. So I'm assuming this is Team, Sam uh, Team Samurai's uh, theme song right now. Just because it doesn't fit with the background that we're in right now. Gosh damn it! What death stuff? <laughs> Was it actually right? Oh my god. 
This is why I said I like this character. She's so cool. I I thought I was like gonna get away, and she's like punch. Now we get to use boring characters. I don't even know how to use this guy. Ready? Did she say GG? <laughs> oh, you have like a... Has that you said? It's not even the same sound, but I still can't hear it, right? I, I heard it. <laughs> uh, the drill. I'm just gonna drop sand. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner. Winner! Wanna use off the heavy punches? Ass wipe? Ass wipe? Select order. It's just a, a, a like a default like sound effect when like the electricity is buzzing, and it almost sounds similar to FNAF. It's not exactly the one, but it, it's just a funny joke. That it makes. Although I know every fighting game player that's watching this in the future. Hello, FPC. So like, wow, really? We're gonna be making FNAF references while you're playing a fighting game? I mean, I mean, do you not see the background? He's a tough and cool professional rapper. You best stay out of his way. Clark still. Round oh, Team Akari? Ready? Go! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you will give me an egg! That's such a cool move that he has. Just throw you into the air and like break your back. Player one takes an early lead. Dan? Ah, uh, basically. I was gonna say right now this is a Ryu versus Jury. But that Jury doesn't have projectile. Oh, now I'm fucked. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, 100%. Like, I, I already told you guys the story a long time ago, but for anyone that doesn't know, uh, Quick Refresher, um... After Street Fighter 2, half of, like, a couple, we'll, we'll say a couple, Members of Capcom left and made uh, their own company called SNK, and they're like, yo, let's make some fighting games. And they're like, yo, let's make a character that kind of makes fun of Capcom's Ryu, and uh, his name was uh, Ryo. So then Capcom's like, yo, we're gonna make fun of this character, so we're gonna make a character named Dan, who's just a shit Shoto. And then uh, SNK clapped back with like, okay, we're gonna make uh, a female character that makes fun of your female character named Yuri, and then Capcom's like, alright, we're gonna make our own female character that makes fun of your female character named Sakura. And they ended up creating some of the most memorable characters of all time by, like, riffing on each other. I love it when uh, video game companies do shit like that. Dinner time! Also, this guy's literally Zangief, except he has green hair. <laughs> I, I gotta send you the video before where like someone literally compared Street Fighter V Zangief's uh, moves 
to King of Fighter 14, King of Dinosaur moveset, and it's eerily similar, like one to one. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like Zangief ripped off uh, King of Fighter, uh, King of Fighter Dinosaur Man. Man's got Lariat and Pull Drive, Pile Driver, right? <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen that one before. <laughs> Fucking volcanic eruption. Yeah, that's sick. That's way better than this one in a uh, 14. I love that. That was hype. That was hype. Just power driver, and I'm like, okay, that's obviously the end of it. And rawr, psh, just volcanic eruption from the from the stage. Oh, I, I, that that was hype. That was hype. Select order. Okay, it's been a while since I used Challenger one. is Team Fatal Fury. Also, I should probably move my camera to the left side now. The Satan of Martial Arts himself. The Satan of Martial Arts. Dream come true. Round one. Ready? Go! Damn. Try to do a command grab. She has a long high kick. Well, yeah, I mean, granted, the Sylvie Paul Paul fan is definitely not disappointed by how silly Sylvie Paul Paul plays in this game, so. I was definitely gonna buy her before, and I'm not disappointed trying her out now. But obviously, I can understand why. The FGC community will look at a character like this and be like, nah, mess me with that dude. It's, it's basically, uh... What's her name? Lucky Chloe all over again. Which, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm waiting for Lucky Chloe's trailer to be coming out soon for uh, Tekken 8. Just because Harada's gonna be like, fuck all of you that said you hate this character. I'm putting her back in here. I don't care what you guys want. I'm putting what I want. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta concentrate. <laughs> Damn, GG, GG. This battle should bring the hype. Wow! I'll take Lucky or uh Christy, but Christy is a legacy character, so I'll take Lucky Picture. This is match point for player one! Yo, what's up, Tease? I mean, Dinosaur? You drew the annoyed team, right? He's, uh... I'll, I'll talk about that later. You thought about trying something else? Like being a Tyrannodon? Uh, mm. mm. Well, the boss mentioned it, but everyone knows Tyrannosaur is Rexus, so... Wait, what? I am the one, the only... King of Dinosaurs! Here to make any other contenders extinct. I love that. Um, so what what uh, Terry said there, he, when he was like, hey there, Tease, he was gonna call him Teezaw, because this character is actually from a game called, um, Garo Mark of the Wolves. And if you search up Teezaw, you'll notice he's a wrestler with a eagle motif. So I guess he, like, this, he, like, threw that away and became the King of Dinosaurs in, um, KOF 14. So technically, this is a legacy character, even though he's considered new in KOF 14. So I actually expect the King of Dinosaurs to be in a Garu Marco of the Wolves 2 coming out hopefully next year. I actually own Marco of the Wolves, and like any other game I own, I bought it in like. Oh my god, the damage! 
I haven't played it yet, so maybe we can make a Mar Garo Mark of the Wolf stream one day. The only three characters I know that are in there that I could probably use is uh, Terry Bogart, because of course he's in it. Rock Howard, because that's the game he was first um, introduced in. And Tzog, which, if he has a similar moveset to King of Dinosaurs, I feel like I could, like, actually use Tzog in um, Select Garo. So I guess, I, unless Tzog is the name of, like, his wrestler name in Garu, I guess his name is actually Tzog, but... He takes the title King of Dinosaurs in KOS 14 and 15. Which team will clinch their spot in the finals? Oh yeah, these are randoms. I'm like, why is it Shingo, Ryu, and Athena? Is he finally worthy of the Xanagi mantle? A future master with a blazing fire in his heart. Shingo Yabuki. Round one. Ready? Go! Hey, considering you need to have Sylvie and Kukri on your team when you win, I wonder if this ending might reference what happens in uh, SNK Heroine. For one frame, I thought that it was going to be an overhead, and I quickly went up to block that. I hate you. I already hate you again. Psycho Sword! Oh my god. She's too strong. She literally has every tool set you can imagine. Projectiles, teleports. Sure you can. Command grabs. She, she has the works. She even has a pretty badass level 3 that pisses me off. Yeah, gotta kill her as quickly as we can. She's just extremely powerful. Round three. Ready? Go! You but what? Oh, that that's a very sad one. That's a sad one. Oh yeah, fuck you then. Nice. The level three? We gotta we definitely see if we can do it again. Zippity zappity bzzz boom! <laughs> the one time I read her quote, it's, it's nothing to the guy. Apparently, she also gained like fangs between her last appearance. I don't know how she got that. Select order. Oh, you can go back. I'm like, I don't want Kokri to be number two. We're in the final act now! Who is going to claim victory? Hey, it's the woman from uh, Dead or Alive 5? 6? I think it's 6. Avert your eyes for a second and your ice. She's a snow bunny with a mean frostbite. Kula Diamond. Snow bunny? Kula, you're crazy! Round one. Ready? Go! Ooh, nice kick.
This guy's new to me. Oh, drill man, what? Bad. Base knows I can grab you. Nice. Not the one where we crack the screen, though. Mega Man? I want to do a super pile driver. Oh, what a Mad respect to the winner! Winner! Oh, that was close. A few more swings of your paw, and who knows what could happen. Alright, now we'll do boss fight this way, right? Select order. Yeah, I feel like Reverse could be a character Some player kind of as a, a final us. DLC. It's like verse. Could actually be free too, considering we've gotten like what Omega Rugal for free. Round one, ready, go. <laughs> They actually like them five seconds. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nice one. I'm like, I hope that doesn't go up. Come on, let me do level 2 super pile driver. Break the screen, break the screen. There we go. And then land on that fucker. Oh, that's so sick. I'm glad they still kept that thing. <laughs> and I still haven't done my favorite ultra with King of Dinosaurs. It's, it's uh, just the running one. Denar! Time and then just starts like eating everyone. I, I definitely have to do that one. But yeah, I know like he he's definitely giving it his all.
something that has to be said about like I was gonna say fighting game characters, but like I guess any video game character that like is very expressive. Stands in the way. It makes you uh well, at least for me, I have a good time with, like, characters that are very expressive like that. That's why I love Zangief, because he's like, I am the Red Cyclone! Like, I love shit like that. When people try to be like, K, where it's like, die. It's like, bro, just stop trying. I like, get a fight. Ah! I'll say he has more going on with him compared to Zangief. Then again, Zangief could have a different story in, uh... But, uh, yeah, you're definitely not wrong about that. You don't like that, I guess. The fact my EX broke yours. GG, that was my bad. I tried to do two, three missiles there, and the third one actually worked, but it's too late. Stand to a ground. Ready? Go! Oh, he doesn't say it as uh, as expressive as 14. He just goes dinner time in here, but in 14 he goes dinner time. Oh, that's all right. I might die here. Final round. Ready? Go. Come on, not even like stage two. That's my favorite move for the three. It, it reminds me of a uh, Chun Li spinning uh, bird kick, except uh, a little bit too late because he's doing like a disco spin with it. That's another thing. GG, GG. I'll definitely kick her. If you want to know how to win, this is the person to ask. By cheating? I like how you can make the bosses easy in this game. Round one. Ready? Go! Uh oh. Not the Street Fighter V survival upgrades, right? Also, I guess we're getting that glitch, so I'm just gonna turn off comments for a little bit. Just cause it's like, bruh. But don't worry, I got my, uh, phone on right in front of me, so. That, that kind of threw me off. Get up, get up, get up! 
God damn overhead. Is this fight already over? Final round. Ready? Go! Psycho Crusher! What? Stop blocking me, bitch! What the fuck? How did that one move just take off like 40 of my health? How is she easier the first time we fought her compared to now? Round one! Ready? Go! I know I'm dead next round, but the fact that I was able to take her out with this, uh, Sylvie is pretty sick. <laughs> Before I even tried to do anything, I'm like, should I shoot her? Should I do the cycle ball? Or, uh, psych, uh, cycle teleport? Cycle pressure? No, he's just... Ready? Go! What? What dumb shit was that? We just both whiffed? I guess we both had like a grab. And we grabbed each other and... Oh, goddamn, that actually was just... And it didn't work. Final round. Ready? Go! Nice. There we go. Oh, you can fucking follow up after that? Okay, I was gonna say, just don't that. Yeah, I was gonna say you have zero health. What? 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 All eyes are on the winner of that fierce fight. Winner! Don't just act up and act like you're the shit. Piss off and back to the. This guy likes to swear a lot. Didn't he call someone else like an asswipe? <laughs> this guy talks the most shit. <laughs> He's an internet user. He'll talk the most shit, but also he'll be weird about women. I like code they don't even show us. We already seen this one though. Now or never.
Okay, why didn't I get an ending for Kukri and uh, Sylvie? Just too shy to say you're in love with your best friend Sylvia Mian, aren't you? Oh, you. <laughs> there we go. Why would I be best friends with a baby and a cheap Go back to your playpen now. The adults are busy. Live to fight another day? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Wow! Wow! <laughs> okay, we now we, we've gone to the day. Damn, this is the time to be alive. Now the King of Fighter endings are kind of trash. And the Street Fighter 6 endings actually might be worthwhile. <sighs> but honestly, knowing Sylvie, that's probably a good ending for her. She just, like, she just wants to be friends with people. And Cookery's like, fuck off. I, I don't want to be friends with you. I know, I know it is. And I guess, uh, I just realized Mion's not in this game. So that's why I forgot who was the third person in the team, Mion. And she's not in this game. So like I stated... If you're buying this game for like casual, like if you're buying DLC characters for casual purposes, which is like story, not worth it. Not worth it at all. But if you're buying the DLC characters to like use them in competitive play, then of course they're worth it. But it's only worth it if you're good with those characters. <laughs> that was literally like two lines. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh, well, I guess uh, now we go online and get my ass kicked, right? on Dragon Ball Fighters you shouldn't have them all have the same color. What does team versus plus mean over here? Also I decided that there isn't a random stage. Oh okay you can actually have different uh, characters or different stages for like I guess a team battle would be for this map and then single versus would be this map between registered, registered teams and registered characters. Oh, voice chatter actually works in this game? I gotta put myself in a private uh, uh, chat room. That is one thing I was afraid about this game though. I'm like, are people even still playing this game casually? And I don't think so. I think uh, the only matches we're gonna get is going into ranks. And at this point in time, I feel like they're gonna be uh, the sweatiest players of all time. Uh, 
technically I did have regions to like the two just similar or same, so hopefully uh, putting it on all should fix that. Time to hop down rank? Fuck I don't want to. But it actually seems like we might have to just to get one match. But yeah, definitely not disappointed with Sylvie, at least in terms of gameplay. Damn, it really does go into level 3. Oh, for a second, I'm like, those are not my characters. Ugh, technically, the worst character on my team would be mine, just because I don't really know how to use her. Ready for a battle of titans. Wins. Oh, shit. I actually have some records? What? Did that say 15 losses? I suck. Alright, let's start off with a psycho crusher and see what happens. Of course, psycho ball. The peach that fucking makes her save every time she connects. What the fuck you got that? I think you're starting to see why I hate fucking Athena's. Psycho Bow! Psycho Sword! Teleport though! I forgot she has a fucking teleport from the sky that ends with a kick. You know, I think she might kill me with this one character. Round two. Ready? Go! Yeah, fuck your Psycho Ball. Skipping me, I'm skipping you. Round How about that? Three. Ready? Go! Ready? 
What the fuck? Ah, uh, okay. She knows what she's doing. Gotta give him that. He was able to do something cool with that. What a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble. <laughs> Winner! Easy to overcome. The last one to finish it is your boss. Complete it. Rank 29. Is that even good? The search put me back into training. I hope it does. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. Okay. Select order. But he has like a bunny poof. Where do you even get Nothing that? Stop this show. What game is that, like, rabbit from? That's messed up. <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> you can shoot that in the air? I didn't skip that, they did. I saw him. Ready? Go! I need to find a way to like open them up and then do the X kick. Considering I know what Ryu can do from last match, I'm not gonna let him fucking get that combo on me. Nice. They usually don't expect to wake up DP. EXDP, that is. Most King of Fighters players, uh, and this is a big assumption, right? But. They'll usually try to save meter to do a crazy combo like you saw last round, so they don't expect you to just throw fucking EXs like you're playing Street Fighter. What's that? Fuck. 
The peach! Okay, I got one win. Can I stop playing online now? <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> No, why not? Oi. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Was that a buff in this game where she can just throw Venom Strikes in the air? That's kind of fucked. But yeah, I, th I think she's uh, gonna win this time. King is definitely her best character. when you give two characters fucking a roll in the game. Not gonna get anywhere. What a great fight! Mm. Mad respect to the winner! Yep. Winner! Maybe if I swap my for Terry. Round one! Ready? Go! <laughs> Player two takes another round. 
don't know. I don't know what the fuck you just did, but my sure you can do this shit, so fuck you. Nice. That was a good one. I should have done a uh, cream pop or whatever. Stand your ground. Ready? Go! I gotta learn like how he's so fucking safe after every attack he does. Yeah, I was supposed to be sure you can. He, granted, even though it wasn't EX, I was still gonna die. But I, I want to die by the move I, I press, right? This is gonna be hard with my, not gonna lie. Ready? That was luck. That was luck that I even what got that. Uh, I win. I'm not fighting him anymore. Fuck that. Oh, it's it's a run back and then it doesn't continue anymore. Oh, I didn't know about that. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay, there, I got a second one. Can I stop playing this now? <laughs> yes! Yes! You can't combo into anything from Ben Punch. Okay. The battle of Sylvie. It's about to be a party up in here. That's a lot of wins. So it's starting to get dark. I might turn on light soon. <laughs> Round one. Ready? He's gonna do teleport first. I did it first. I'm really sorry doing it too. Damn, yeah, I'm not gonna be someone who actually knows how to use Sylvie. 
Granted, they weren't really doing anything crazy other than just fucking teleporting and shooting them. So. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Hey there, Xavier. How are you doing? Why are they the same person? How about that? This is a Sylvie stream, so obviously I'm gonna use Sylvie. They, they shouldn't be using Sylvie. such a good fucking combo. I need to start doing that more. That I could beat the flying squirrel? Oh my god. I'm at least getting one kill today. I got that off. Player two's anchor is pulling their weight. Oh, don't be sad. You didn't really miss much. Plus, uh, those live streams are always gonna be on my YouTube channel, right? Final round. Ready? Go! That actually was a pretty good uh, air kick. All eyes that. are on the winner of that fierce fight. Winner. I know. Oh no, I, I definitely suck at fighting games. I'm gonna get my ass kicked all the time. But uh, we got. Two wins, so that's good. At least it shows that if you try, you can get a win. Round one. I'm gonna do the Ready, rocket. Go. I gotta remember she's always gonna do that. That's where you can kick it so good. I'm playing online right now. What?
Doctor grabs me after that round roll. One. How is that a full screen? I hate how the sometimes you might not get the double from the show up though. Because that's uh, my username on PlayStation, so that's why I made my YouTube channel the same name. I do hate about fucking KO fighters. People just love running around like squirrels. Like, fucking fight! Why are you running back? Why are you like rolling all over the fucking place? Just fight! If you're gonna start using the roll button, I'll use the roll button too. What? There's no salt! I'm just saying like, Buddy's literally running around. He's got like over 800 wins and he's scared of someone who's got like 14 wins. Still, I don't like people that run away like that. That was a nail biter. Keep an eye on this matchup. Winner! Yeah, no. If you got over 840 wins and you're running like that, you're a bitch. Come up from the kick? What? Select order. I really need to get three of my two. It's about to be a party up in here! You know, whatever you say before. I don't see you playing ranked on this shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, cause I have no life. Ready? Go! 
That's probably the best answer I can give you. Can't go through projectiles with that. That's, that's fighting games for you. This battle should bring the hype. Round three. Ready? Go! No, nothing. That, I saw that OTG, you fucked up that, uh, connection there. Hmm? No, I still have one more person. Oh, you got power dunk as a normal now? And then he did it. I, I wonder if it's fucking sure you can motion for a rising knuckle now. Instead of hold down to, uh, instead of guile charge. Final round. Ready? That should have not worked. All eyes are on the winner of that fierce fight. Could you not mm, cut alive on SV? What? What does that even mean? Okay, did I get someone mad today? Like, what? Why? Why didn't they fight me back? What? What, what did I do? What did I do to deserve that? Sad face. Oh, but you didn't give run back to the guy that like beat you on the first match. Oh yeah, the guy who like knows all the combos and shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna give a run back to someone that knows what they're doing. I'm not fighting you, champions. Order. I will say I'm actually surprised with how many people are playing this right now. No! I just don't want to fight people that like fucking are training to go here. to the tournaments. Like the other matches I had, I don't mind losing because like I can actually see 
I have the potential to actually beat them. With the first person, there was just no winning. They they had, uh, what was it, Athena, first character, they fucking destroyed every one of my characters with one. Yeah, no. And when I was able to get to the last character, they did the craziest combo with Ryu that I've ever seen. Also, no offense, but no one in the fucking world buys a video game to lose at it. Uh, that's just the answer. I'm not saying I want to win every match, but no one buys a video game to lose every match. And that's what happens when you fight the first. You're gonna lose every match. Unless you- no, I was gonna make- no. <laughs> Unless you're starting uh, YouTubers or streamers, uh, yeah. You usually wanna buy the game for fun into it, not to lose. Bro, I wish I had my cable charger, but I lose. Oh no! You might have to buy a new one then, right? No, my And we're tied up. Oh, don't use Freddy and SD? I mean, that's pretty easy, though. I feel like we've done that. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! Nice. He knew I'd do that. He, he either knows that, like, all Yuri players do that right away, or he knew that I was gonna do that. What? Nice, nice, nice! You have a fucking ghost for you? I can't believe the double actually connected. <laughs> no, it, well, hopefully you can find a cheap charger, or maybe ask one of your friends or family for one, right? Oh, guy over here. Ready? Mission start. Blocking low though, how do you take the overhead? Oh, whatever. I don't know, I, I, I need to, I might have to go into training with Yuri to remember some stuff. Ah, uh, cable. Don't even. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I, I, I will say it's kind of cool that Street Fighter 6 actually tells you if you're on LAN uh, or Wi Fi cable or Wi Fi, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on uh, LAN right now. I think I wouldn't even be able to stream if I was on fucking LAN. Yep. Fuck, like, you need a good wake up attack. Fuck, sometimes I can do good with mine, sometimes I just do absolute shit with her. Did I even get to... No, no, I did get to... Uh...
my. You can tell how dark it is in my area. So I should probably be over here so I can see the enemy's uh, health bar. Yeah, makes a bit sense. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> No! Wait, what? Did you see that? Bro, I feel like Sylvie might be glitched. That should have not affected mine. That's like the second time, like... Something happened that should have because, like, weird fucking, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, holy fuck, you saw that too, right? My super connected with her, even though she was on the opposite side of me. Okay, I was gonna say, you better like Spartan up there. That should have not connected. I literally caught him from the air. Double! Almost got the peaks again. Really? You think that's gonna connect? If it was a grab, it would have connected, but I, I made sure to block that thing. GG. I'm gonna go turn on the lights and go. Bruh, it's only at 2%? Sad face. I hope you're able to uh, charge it up. We'll, we'll most likely be uh, live for maybe one more hour to play this game. Oh, wow. In match? What? They're like, bruh, I'm only going to fight you if I can win. But as soon as you beat me? Nah, nah. Surprised that didn't get help for review? Uh... I guess it's because they had some words in the emojis. I'll be back. I'm just going to go to the washroom quick and then uh, I'm down to continue. Beer beer.
What? I got kicked out. How do you fix that? Surprise! Oh, yeah, you already said that. I need to make like my, well, my own playlist. Like, there's actually a trophy for making your own playlist in this game. Why don't you show your face in videos, bruh? Why did it take you so long? Well, what do you mean? What is that supposed to mean, Xavier? The PlayStation 5 camera only records my uh, face if I'm doing a stream. If I'm like uploading a video, it doesn't record the face, sadly. I mean, I could technically, like, I guess, download this stream and then upload it as a video, but... So then you could see my face as a video, but... Eh. Yeah, it would, I, I don't see why it would be worth it, in my opinion. It would literally be the same video as a live stream, so... But... Less numbers. <laughs> Oh, thank good. I was gonna say, can you just change your character quickly without having to go back out? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I forgot everything with mine. I just need to know what's Ryokin. Really? Oh, I can just do Ryokin straight up. I don't even need to do the the demon flip into the Ryokin. I can just like go Zanku. All right, all right, nice. That definitely is gonna give her more pressure. What's that move? Oh, it's the, the flip. And punch, kick. Double grab? Let me see. Oh, that's an air grab? Are you asking what if I use my PS camera to make videos? I mean, maybe. I could possibly make it work, but it's like... I don't know. I, I think the people that are like... Subscribe here, like... Just like it the way it is. I don't think people are expecting my camera, my face to be on every video I make. Mean. I mean, I could, but once I know that it's an air only, that, that like that, I'm only gonna use it against the air. It's basically a what is it? Kimberly's Azuna drop. It's just because uh, Yuri is like making fun of the shadows. My mind goes, okay, she does the, she does demon flip, so obviously she can like grab the head of the opponent like Akuma, right? I was like, no. Mustaches, nah, I don't even know. Like, I, I think I still might need like a two or three more weeks. Round one, ready? Go! Also, I like how there's um, like daytime and nighttime versions of maps. Oh no, the lag!
That hurts so fucking much. Green pop. Player two takes an early lead. It's literally uh, Jury Kareens and then Sakura's Same. overhead with the kick. I love Reach it. For the top. Ready? I'm gonna say no. Like which characters are like using? I will say the sound effects on Sylvie are pretty nice. It's a man! I, I don't know. Even then, with the facial hair, I don't think I look that old. I don't think I'll ever look my age. Burn to fight. Ready? Go! I don't know how that connected, but I'll take it. I am not 30. Shut the fuck up. I almost caught him there in the air. Woo! Izuna drops! I hate how some character sweeps so longer than others. Pretty badly now, I'm not gonna lie. My? No, my was number one. Oh fuck, fuck. Can we not have 10 fucking frames of rollback, please? You can re- <laughs> What a stellar fight! When is that update coming to this game? The fucking fix the goddamn online. I thought it was going well, and then at the end it just started lagging. I'm gonna blame it on that. Clark is very scary because he's a grappler, right? So... Uh, I just gotta run away or block the right angle? I don't know. I was crouching and I guess that move he does catches crouching opponents. So I'll see if I can like stand and block and see if that blocks it. If not, then I just gotta jump every time he's uh, fighting Clark. Round one! Ready? Go! <laughs> Put a pizza in the oven? Oh, you did? Nice. I probably should have just not accepted the rematch. Don't give 
Hey, you literally want to do it. That's what I was trying to do, but I guess, uh... Take a picture because uh, you're never going to see that again. I, I can't really do anything with fucking my. That was a nail biter! Uh. Keep an eye on this matchup! Winner! Why do I gotta wait five seconds for this shit? Omega Rugal? What the fuck? Get ready for a battle of titans! Oh, this is definitely a bot account. Look at them. Or someone just started playing King of Fighters this week for some reason when Street Fighter 6 is coming out in less than four days. I don't know. I'm the master of the fist. Feel how weak you are with your body. There's a bunch of hidden commands I put like a year ago and people still haven't found them. Round one. Ready? Go! Yo, is this a this is a uh metal slug thing? Yo, this is sick! I was like that that like homeless guy in the background looks familiar to me. And then I started seeing the planes, and then I saw more homeless people in the background. This is a metal slug stage, that's sick! Heck, I think that might be one of the Metal Slug characters down there, but it's not the one that I, I know. They own the glasses. That's fucking sick, actually. I think I only put it for like the characters that way. I need to add more for uh more free fighter characters. I don't think I have any for S in today. Nice. 
I wouldn't mind. Like, if you want to help me with that, I wouldn't mind doing it. You just got like, I guess send me a code and then I can add it to my bot. Reach for the top. Ready? Go. Stop. Yeah, I was gonna say Sylvie's usually a EX dragon kick or chop up up up, so. Is Luna drop? I almost had a second one there too. No problem at all. I'll uh, keep on getting my ass kicked in this game then. Oh man, I should get out of that one. I gotta get back to training soon to get home. Funny enough, I, and then this is no offense to FGC or anyone that takes this game seriously, but I find this game to be like easier in the way you fight enemies. At least, I guess, compared to Street Fighter, you're not doing like long ass combos in like one jump in. It's mostly about pokes. And yeah, if you know what you're doing, then yeah, then you get the fucking long ass combos. So. I went forward punch instead of forward light kick. I, I thought I was doing the peach with Yuri, with, not Yuri, when I sort of had done it with uh, so the sad face. You what? But my one's in hand. Funny when I do the when I want to do the poke, that's when the overhead comes in. Right? I've been trying to like, yeah. Oh, I love that one so much. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, oh. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! Choking! Nice. Nice. 
I should not do that again. Damn, that did incredible damage. Okay, so... Enhance the... Command grab is actually a pretty good ender. I was trying to do level three, but I realized I was pressing the wrong button. That was oh. a nail biter. Keep an eye on this matchup. Winner! It's about to be a party up in here! Good. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> If I did that one millisecond earlier, we probably could have had a double KO. Ready? 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for a wake up DP again. If I did a uh, light instead of heavy, I probably could have actually yeah. traded there. I, I wasn't expected to kill uh, Ralph with Sylvie, but I can't can't believe we actually got pretty close though. Choking. Guys, fuck me up.
Sounds like a Sonic song. <laughs> for the top. Ready? Go! I wonder if like I woke up uh, sooner if I would have uh, actually connected with that. I tried to do the slap. More 75 health? I hope now. 55. That was a two hitter though! Got saved by that auto combo there. I'm like punching on the dummy, but it's not that you're weak. I was just oh. why am I even playing this anymore? <laughs> Before's not even here. Wait. Hey Clementine, how you doing? Today's until Street Fighter 6, right? So we're playing literally the opposite of Street Fighter 6. King of Fighters. Actually, right now I should probably switch to my... Make sure I'm getting everything in mine. Rubuken, Kajosen, that... Oh, that fucking move. Target combo? Honestly, I'm, I was surprised that the reviews didn't come in sooner. But yeah, it does look like... Everyone's loving it, which is pretty uh, interesting. Uh, well, the answer is because they give the company, like Capcom, gives review copies to certain um, review outlets. Usually, a uh, big uh, companies like IGN, GameSpot, it, those those types of uh, reviewers, right? So, and so if people are like, "Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get that new Street Fighter game this Friday," I heard like five was very bad. They're gonna see the reviews that came out today and be like, oh shit, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10? This is the greatest game of all time, I gotta get it now, so... Th that's why reviews usually come a couple days early before uh, something comes out. And that goes for movies, video games, books probably, like, for honestly everything. Funny enough, if a game doesn't get a review a couple days before the game comes out, that's actually a way to tell that uh, the game actually not might be good. For example, and I'm not saying this game's bad, but I'm using it for example. Callisto Protocol? 
I believe did not let anyone review it until the game came out. And if if you know why that is, then you know. But yeah, most often most often companies will be like, you can't review the game until the game's out, and that's because uh, the game might be bad. So, all I can say is, considering, and I know I already played it, but even if I, if if I never played it. Considering the review reviews are out and it looks good, that means it's good. But if Capcom like said no, no one can review this game until like the game comes out, then I might be a bit worried at that point. But uh, yeah. What uh, were people not allowed to review it before the game came out on PC? And then when it came out on PC, that's when people could review it. If if you say to that Clementine, then that's exactly why. Um, That's why some companies won't uh, give a review copy out early because then people will see how bad it is and then they'll tell their friends or viewers or fan base and be like, yo, don't not don't buy this game at all because it's shit. Or it just doesn't work. Man, like so far, like every Capcom game that has come out this year has had their reviews come out a couple days before the game comes out and um, at least at this point in time it's because they know they have something good on their hands. Now I will say, well technically Exo Primal did get a couple betas but I will say it will be funny if that game Capcom's like no you cannot review it until the game comes out because so far that actually might be the only Capcom game that might not be good and it's only not good because it has like a not fun gameplay loop. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. They didn't give review copies because it sucked. Exactly. So, uh, well, the thing is, The Last of Us on PC doesn't suck. It just doesn't run well, which makes it suck, right? But yeah, imagine if Naughty Dog gave uh, IGN the PC version of Last of Us a week before it came out. IGN would have been like, "Yo, this doesn't even run. This sucks. Do not buy it day one." And then Naughty Dog would have not made as much money as they did, uh... Select order. If, if IGN did say that, right? But they didn't give any review copies, so people were just like, Oh, I can't wait to play Last of Us on the PC! And then when they got Last of Us on the PC, it didn't even work, so... That, that's why review copies will come out. So that, that's a, a gamer tip right there for you, Clementine. If a video game you're excited for doesn't, like, give out reviews two weeks to even a couple days before it comes out, start to be worried. That's all I can say. But if a game has the review out before it comes out, then that means you might have something good on your hands. And even if a review comes out early, it doesn't mean the game's good, right? Like, Street Fighter 6 is getting like 9s and 10s out of 10s, but if you don't like Street Fighter, then you're not going to like Ready? the game, so. Or fighting games. Like that. That should not work. Naughty Dog delays The Last of Us multiplayer, I feel like... I, I don't think it's gonna come... Wait, I feel like it will never... Yeah, I don't think so. Because they announced that when Last of Us 2 came out, and that was, what, 2019? That was almost like 4 to 5 years ago at this point. So, yeah, no. The worst part is, like, people are defending and being like, Oh, don't worry, Naughty Dog, take your time, you're gonna make the best thing ever. And I'm like, no! Nice. Nice. 
I wish uh, she had a good uh, fucking wake up attack. Back also, WTF, Super 6 has an update, it's not even out yet. That's a good thing then. They're already like patching it already. I wonder if it actually might be to stop people from playing like the game early. I doubt it, but who knows. Yeah, he always grabs me with that move. I don't know what that is. It might be a crouching attack. What a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble! Like, if the opponent's crouching, you're gonna grab I play a little bit more of this and then I gotta switch it over to a uh, Dragon Ball the Breakers. Today's the last day I can use my tickets and I'm not gonna let them go to waste. Tomorrow's the new season! So. I am glad uh, I get to play something new tomorrow. That's cool. Although this is technically new for me considering I haven't played it in like, what, over a year. So. Yeah, no, Sylvie Paul Paul is part of my team forever. Ready? Don't remove her from King of Fighter 16 or whatever. I don't care if Max doesn't like this character. I don't give a fuck what Max likes. I like what I like. Although I will say that it is some shit. I, I do wish he actually used her so I can start learning how to like do full combos and shit. But you're, you're never going to see Max use this character. He'll use everyone else though. Fuck. Damn. So what's this fucking Sonic song? Ah, she's a good character. Plus, I mean, she's nice on the eyes as well. Nah, they've been giving them the game out for two weeks, that's why Tip has made a review of the game. I mean, IGN having a review is different from like, buddy who like bought the store before the game's supposed to come out, right? There's a difference. Yeah. Damn it! It's called a uh, King of Fighters 15. It's basically Street Fighter uh, Clementine, but just made by a different company. We even got a knockoff Sakura. Well, technically she's the original Sakura. Sakura is a knockoff of Yuri. Rush. I'm like, when can I get a show up? With? I 
love that slap. Gotta stop doing jumping. Yeah, and nah, even small ass content creators with 1k subs get a copy? To review? So I'm just, I just gotta accept the fact that Capcom just hates me. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe that actually connected. Ooh! Bro, that fucking flying rain bird shit is actually a pretty good attack. Also, probably the best thing about this game, it has so many songs, you can just put it on re review and you're gonna have a great time. I'm glad that uh, Capcom uh, answered that uh, Street Fighter 6 does have a jukebox mode, so I'm glad about that. I'm glad I don't have to fucking pay to hear music from the past games. Fuck me. Oh my god! I couldn't do jack shit with her there. I don't know why. I thought Square 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 leads into level 4. Why wasn't I able to do that? Literally the worst person in my team is Mai right now. I mean, why would they give someone a copy that loves shitting on them? Also, that demo reaction definitely stopped them from giving you a copy? Probably. Hey, I'm giving, the, I'm giving people an honest fucking review. Sorry, I can't be a dick sucker like other people. I don't know many Street Fighter characters, so when I play Street Fighter 6, I'll probably know the characters that I don't Nothing know. Exactly! Plus, I believe there's only, like, uh, six new characters in that game, so... All the other characters are returning, but even if you don't know them, you'll, you'll definitely get used to them. They got a pretty nice personalities. Heck, I actually want to say this might be one of the first few Street Fighter games that we got, like, a character from every different country. The only one I can think of that, like, might double might be, like, uh... Ken and Guile from the USA. Then everything else, like everyone else, comes from like their own respective countries, which is pretty badass. I could definitely be wrong on that, but uh, from what I can tell, tell right now, yeah, like I definitely the new characters come from different countries. Those are all the new characters I can think of right now. I mean, maybe you can make the argument that there might be a couple people from Japan, but... So. Oh, 
Bro, why is he safe after that fucking crouching thing? <laughs> like, he's able just to whip that out anytime he wants. This guy has the longest fucking legs out of anyone in this game, I swear. I knew he was going to do that. Peach! Background train, uh... I, I don't know if you would want to, but you're more than welcome to, like, have a couple matches with me when the game comes out. There's a lot of fun modes that, uh... You don't even have to take seriously. Like, there's one where, like, we can fight and then a random bull comes in the background and, like, hits both of us. Like, there's a lot of, like, just fun modes in Street Fighter 6, and that is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Damn it. Fuck. Say that as if you didn't like get a perfect on I need to practice fighting in that game? Oh, that's no problem. Oh no, so he can just grab from fucking any stand. <laughs> gee fucking G, I wasn't able to uh, get good spacing there. I was gonna try to jump and do the fucking pro uh, knee drop. The thing that Mai doesn't have, unless like someone can tell me that the other characters have, is a wake up. If I get knocked on the ground with Sylvia and Yuri, I can just EX uh, electric kick or EX fucking uh, show up uh, with Yuri. Mai doesn't have any of that shit. She's just fucked. And I'll say I'm decent for a bronze player assist at least, and plus that was technically my first ever time playing Street Fighter 6. Exactly, so that makes it even better, right? I did try MK11, but the controls are too hard to remember, especially fatality. Oh yeah, no, the fatalities, they definitely make it hard in Mortal Kombat for a reason. I wonder if MK11 has that bullshit where, like, you can pay real money so the game does the fatalities for you. That was the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. And people didn't get that mad about it. Round 
Fuck. Oh, they can be. I will say they're very out there. But considering MK11 is like resetting the story, there's no point in me telling you the story of Mortal Kombat because like we're back at the beginning in a way. So. Mortal Kombat 1 actually might be a good start for new players just because like they don't have to like care about the story anymore. Everyone's gonna be young again, everyone's gonna be doing the same shit like before. That kick! Bruh, bruh's legs are like the fucking length of a giraffe. Running Peach, too. Oh, oh, yay! I love that one so much. I like Scorpion, especially when he says, Get over here! Yeah, no, too good. Too good. Reach for the top! Ready? Go! Not what I want to do. Where's my fucking Saifa? There we go. Oh, I love Cassie Cage so much. She's pro what Honestly, that's probably gonna be the biggest uh, disappointment I'm gonna have with Mortal Kombat 1. Cassie Cage was my one of my favorite characters in X because she was a hybrid of uh, Johnny Cage and uh, Sonya Blade because She's obviously their daughter, right? And I guess I'm not gonna be able to use her because if we're back at the beginning, we're back before like fucking Johnny Cage and uh, Sonya Blade were married with each other, so... I mean, but who knows? They could possibly find a way to like, be like, she came from the future to the past to like, save something or some shit. I don't know, but I, I, I actually liked her a lot. I know some people didn't like the children in the town, but... Cassie Cage I actually didn't mind. Oh yeah, no. Johnny and yeah, Johnny and Cassie are like the comedic relief, comic relief in the series. Cassie Cage? Maybe. My favorite, like honestly, I I love how like Johnny Cage does the nut punch, but like Cassie Cage does an upgraded version of it, where like if you do the X, she goes ding dong. I I, I just think that's so fucking hilarious for Cassie Cage to do it. It's like, Cassie's like, I'm gonna punch your nuts two times in a row. Oh, I guess he didn't want to fight anymore. That actually was a lot of fun, not gonna lie. I mean, I don't even think Johnny Cage is a playable character. He's gonna be... That, I, know, a lot, I know a lot of people are saying that. And, uh... Oof. And <laughs> that's all I can say. Oof. Mortal Kombat without Johnny Cage is like a Street Fighter game without Ryu and Ken. Oh wait, that was Third Strike. Oh, it wasn't even Third Strike, it was Street Fighter 3. OG, like, version 0 0.1. And then everyone was like, yo, if you're gonna make a Street Fighter game without Ryu and Ken, we're just not gonna play it. And they're like, fuck it, we're gonna put Ryu and Ken then in this game. And then they're like, yo, where's Chun Li? Where's Akuma? And then they're like, fuck it, we're gonna add Chun Li and Akuma. It, yeah, Concept SS3, which, no. <laughs> like, at that point, you just make a new IP, Capcom. Street Fighter is not Street Fighter unless you don't have, unless you have Ryu and Ken. 
You don't have to use them. I'm not saying you gotta like Shotos. I'm just saying they have to be in the game. Also, before, what did I say about like pro players using modern controls because it's gonna be easier? It seems like that's what everyone's going with right now. Oh, this is the credits of KOI 14, bro. Gotta get down, gotta get down, gotta get No! KO! An exciting bout from round one! Burning by your side! I didn't know the song was in this game, that's sick. Ready? Go! GG, <laughs> although I think I know how to be able to bait his attack at Sylvie now. That standing hard punch is actually the same length, length of his uh, crushing kick. Wait, is Sub-Zero and Scorpion enemies? Yes, but sadly not because they... Not because, like, oh, I hate you and I hate you. It's, it's some stupid bullshit, honestly. They would be great friends otherwise. Sub-Zero and Scorpion are part of two different ninja clans, so obviously they would have they would fight each other at times, but... They didn't really, like, hate each other until one incident, and that incident was, um... Sub-Zero's, uh clan of ninjas went to Scorpion's house and killed his uh, child and uh, wife, sadly. Okay, so this guy gave up. Um, so yeah, so Scorpion eventually got home and when he got home, he saw all his like fellow ninjas dead and his uh, wife and uh, child dead, right? So. He's like, who did this? And when he saw that it was Sub-Zero, he's like, I'm gonna kill you! And then Sub-Zero killed a Scorpion. But the bitch of it all is, it wasn't Sub-Zero that killed his uh, clan and family. It was actually Quan Chi, the sorcerer, who disguised himself as Sub-Zero to make uh, Scorpion think that it was Sub-Zero. So then when Scorpion died, Quan Chi was like, I'll bring you back to life, but you gotta do my bidding. And Scorpion's like, anything, as long as they get to fight Sub-Zero. And Quan Chi's like, yes. So, uh, Quan Chi, uh, kind of like deceived, uh, Scorpion, sadly. And, uh, yeah, like I said, Scorpion hates Sub Zero because he thinks Sub Zero killed his family. But Sub Zero didn't kill his family at all. That was, uh, Quan Chi. But, uh, that could technically be Redcon in this new game. So we'll see, uh, why they hate each other now. I guess he didn't like Iori. Oh yeah. He's he's like a, a he's a sorcerer. He's a magician of the series. He's actually the reason why most uh, creatures come back from the dead. I believe he actually made a uh, Melina. Nice. 
nice block. Fuck me. I've never actually seen this. Oh, oh, oh. That looked like it hurt. I guess he didn't notice how much health he had. <laughs> Blocked the first part, fucking lands on his head. GG. Although I don't want to fight this guy again. He, he like gave up in the second round for some reason. I don't know if that was lag or because he doesn't want to fight me. Because we fought this guy a couple times in a row now, so yeah. Hey, no problem at all. Take care and have a good one. Oh, interesting. She actually has like hair fidgets. You can actually see her hand pushing in her hair. I'm not used to that because uh, Street Fighter 5. <laughs> That's good. Select order. Stop this show! I hope there's no trophies for getting like a 10 win streak. Cause the uh, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm not gonna get platinum on this then. So how long have we been playing? Four hours and thirty nine minutes? Holy shit. Hey, come on! Maybe around the five hour mark we uh in the stream. Round right? one. Ready? Go! Rush! Right, knuckle. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I did the AX! You even saw it go yellow! That's probably the only time you're ever gonna see me fucking like. If you wanna know how to win, yo, a whole team with just one character. Yo, fucking let's go. I had to wait for fucking Sylvie, Paul Paul to be in this game for me to have fun. That's a lie, but I guess I had to wait for her to actually like be able to win. <laughs> Cause yeah, I guess for her, I, I just had. Um, yeah, go fuck yourself. My Yuri and Terry. She probably has one of the best, like, uppercuts in the game. Like, at least, like, if I'm comparing it to Yuri... With Yuri, you can, like, miss the first show up. Select order. And if you EX hit, if you miss the first one, you're not gonna get the second one. And then sometimes you might actually connect the first hit of the first show up, but then the second one's gonna win. So it's like... It's not a good uppercut, even though I do like it a lot. Like, Sylvie's uppercut's better than Yuri's, 100%. And my, she doesn't have anything, so Get fuck her. Ready for a battle of titans. I wish she had that, like, uh, fan uh, attack from uh, 98. That was such a good attack. I don't know why they... I guess they removed it because it was too good. It was basically her uppercut. I wonder if this is the same for me who kicked my ass earlier today. Ready? Yeah, that like psycho, uh, psycho crusher slash Blanca bomb move that Sylvie has is BS. The missile, it's still good. I just wish it had invincibility. Kill me, Paula Paula for Street Fighter 6, let's go! <laughs> Bro, do you know how many people would be pissed if, like, they actually do have a crossover character from, uh, King of Fighters in, in Street Fighter 6, and it's goddamn still be Paula Paula? I feel like Max would actually stop playing. Crazy. I should have not EX'd, but I just want to make sure he died. Also, if you know what the actual term is when you enhance an attack in this game, let me know. But I'm just gonna call it EX until I, the day I die. No matter which game it is. Bro, he would be pissed if it was an villain with Terry. I'm not really, win, like... I, I think anyone would be pissed if this character went into Street Fighter uh, 6. But knowing Max, he would, like, want... Uh, literally any male character in Street Fighter 6, and if it had to be a female, it had to be my. Just for legacy's sake, right? Which he does have a point. Like, I, I think I would rather have... Uh, no, well, 
I would like to see Ryu fight like Hio or Iori again. But deep down inside, I wouldn't use those characters if they came to Street Fighter Six. But if Sylvie did, then of course I would, because that's a character I know and like. He obviously would like the characters I stated because he's been using them for like many years than I have, right? Before I was even born, probably. So it's all relative, honestly. I would say Shermie is pretty fucking strong, though. I mean, she, she's kind of like Armika, I guess. Like, she's a grappler wrestler. I don't even know what the fuck her fighting style is. She just grabs you with her thighs and fucks you up. I'm gonna fuck her up. Player two takes an early lead. Back to next knee. Plus, if even though those characters are like the main characters of the game, I actually don't know how to use them. Fuck me. Cream pop into the double fist into your whatever. I will say Sylvie's one of those characters that you're definitely gonna get mad if your like manly character gets beaten by. It's like I'm Terry Bogart. I'm like the greatest like character in the series. I can't lose to like some K-pop girl. Oh, you're losing to a K-pop girl. Get good. Well, I would actually say she's more like a jury where, like, she got experimented on. Or maybe like Kami, yeah. Kami got more experimented on than jury, I would say. Fuck me. I killed three people with one character again. They absolutely thrashed their opponent in that match! Winner! Today's forecast, clear skies, cloudy showers, or something else? It's <laughs> just random shit. She, she just says random shit. I might put her in her OG costume, though. Just, just to take a look at it. But I am glad that I definitely came back to this game, not gonna lie. I don't know who else they could add that would like make me like come back to this game right away. Probably literally no one, in my opinion. I was gonna say, you better have a pink cost. But uh, if the other DLC characters they add are like cool, I'll definitely come back and try it out. Even if it's at least to like play against uh, the new characters online. What's her best poke? The kick. Oh, she so she's like Sakura from Street Fighter V, where like you get that light kick and then you can like combo into anything. Yeah, oh yeah, like kick into anything basically. Not into that though. Maybe kick punch in the next. No, not three hitters.
Is that an actual true combo? No. Select order. Nothing will stop this show. I'm not gonna lie for ranked. Uh... They're actually setting me up with, like, people around my skill level, so that's actually pretty sick. I guess that first match was, like, a fucking, like, anomaly where we got put against someone that's gotten, like, over fucking 500 wins and shit. Beep, beep, beep. Your costume looks so much better in this game. Oh my god, this person knows what they're fucking doing. Alright, anyways, so I'm gonna pass out, have fun with Sylvie. No, no problem at all, alright? I hope you have a good night's sleep, and thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to try her out. I'm actually having a lot of fun, so I thank you very much, bro. Ready? I try to get one more win and then uh, that might be the end of the stream. Who's talking in the background? The song? Damn, make me sit down? The fact that my EX sure you can beat out your fucking whatever shit that is, yeah. It's funny, we actually have the same attack. We like rise up until with a kick. And we're tied up. I didn't see how much help I had, that was my bad. I should have pushed up or done anything but tried to do a fireball war like that. Now or never. Ready? Go! Every single fucking time, it's almost like they know your players do that. Nice. Did you not know about double? I gotta stop doing that jump to these characters. Seeing the fucking connected with the first show up, but not the second one. God damn it, fucking. Oh my god, holy shit. Fuck me. Nice, nice, nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. I gotta give him a run back. What a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble! Winner! I want it though. I just wanna win and then the screen. Oh. You gotta be respectful. They're actually a good player, especially with uh Whip in the first character, they were doing some crazy shit. But uh with Whip, oh my god. That was a crazy combo. <laughs> up in the air keep on kidding me no that's cool that's cool that's why whip is a pretty sick character i almost wanted to use her back in 14. round one ready go Oh, is that a diet? Or like... A retro version of diet? Oh no, that's like a soldier. I was rolling though, what the fuck? Oh, oh. Hey. 
know I'm gonna lose, but at least I was able to show him that uh, I'm not going down with a plate. Final round. Ready? That was a nail biter! Keep an eye on this matchup! Winner! Alright, let's do this. I gotta use Sylvia sparingly, I guess. Or just get more combos that are gonna be able to, like, break through Kula's defenses? Round one! Ready? Go! I didn't I didn't know she had a for you can doing there bud like i didn't want to time you i actually wanted to kill you but you you were like being a fucking turtle i don't know whatever gg or gr i was gonna try and chip him out but i didn't want to have a shokin fuck me up fuck that was the worst Punish I could have ever done. What? What the fuck is that? Needs a miracle. I guess that was a counter. Final round. 
I know it's kind of cheesy, but guess what? She was also fucking throwing fireballs to Dash. So honestly, that's a pretty good end to the night. <laughs> I gave him the run back, so I better not hear jack shit from anyone. <sighs> yes, yes. End match and end the stream. So sadly, I mean, I wish there was more of a story for Silly Paul Paul, but then again, I'm kind of assuming there's not that much story for many, if not all, the DLC characters. I, I kind of hope that's not the case, but I mean, eh, whatever. What, what were they gonna give to Sylvie, right? Her remembering what happened to her in fucking the uh, KOA of Heroines, which I guess I, maybe that's what the next thing we're gonna do. Definitely gonna play it on B4's birthday, and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, what her ending is. I heard it's pretty messed up, though. Uh, out of 10, I'm obviously gonna give her like an 8. And if you can do crazy combos with her, then it goes to a 9. Obviously, it's character, a player preference for the characters, but I don't know, I, I, I had fun with her. I was able to do some cool things. I guess I wasn't able to do a level 3 online, sadly, but I guess that's for next time. So I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. You have been watching I Am Destruction with Sylvie Paul Paula in King of Fighters 15. I almost said 14. Well, you're all destroyers, therefore, you are destruction. And when we team up with each other, we. Our destruction. Have an amazing day, night, week, weekend, month, or 2023 year. But until next time, have a good one. What? <gasps> Snee! <laughs>